Hey guys, we're on a beautiful island called Muntanani Island just off the coast of Borneo in Malaysia. And today I got a yin yoga for you that's really gonna help you release any negative energy out of your body. We tend to store a lot of our negativity in our lower body, especially in the glutes and even sometimes the hamstrings. So for this yin yoga class, we're gonna really focus on releasing tension out of those parts of your body. As you hold each posture, I want you to really dig deep within yourself. Think about specific situations, people, or even circumstances that have caused negativity in your life. And I want you to exhale all that energy out as you hold each posture. And then inhale beautiful, positive, peaceful energy to fill your body with good vibrations. So if you guys are ready, grab a mat, find a quiet space, and let's do it. Alright guys, so we're going to begin today on your mat seated and let's open the hands. Taking a deep breath in, just allowing all the wonderful energy to flow into your hands. Flowing through your body as you take a deep breath in and then exhale out. And again, just another deep breath. Exhale, bringing yourself into this present moment. Inhale, let's reach the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, slowly reaching them forward into your child's pose. Forehead reaching over to the mat. Try to keep your hips close to the heels. Just feeling a gentle stretch through the upper back, through the shoulders. And then coming forward into your upward facing dog. Now just take a gentle one, don't push it too much. Bending the knees and then coming back into that child's pose. Doing that one more time, let's come forward, drop the hips, look up to the sky, lift the thighs off the mat. And then exhale, bend the knees and pushing back into that child's pose. Inhale, exhale, let's come back into that all fours. Inhale, arching the back. Now let's tuck the toes. And when you exhale, start to lift into the downward facing dog posture. Now take your time here. I want you to really warm up those hamstrings. Walk out your downward dog if that feels good or just stay there with your knees bent. Really feel that stretch through the hamstring. Give it a little massage if that feels good. I want you to really warm up those legs. Yeah, do it again to the other side if the massage felt good on your leg. If not, just hold your downward dog. Good. And then just allow the heels to sink as low as possible, really opening through the chest, through the upper back. Sternum falling to the mat. Really feeling the opening in the shoulder blades. Let's come forward into your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog hold, open the heart. And then exhale, pushing back into the downward facing dog. Hold it there and just breathe. Inhale, let's reach the right leg up to the sky. Holding that position first. Really feeling the stretch through the left hamstring. Now bending the right knee and taking a big step forward between the two hands, high lunge. Find your center, find your balance. And then slowly drop the left knee to the mat, reaching both arms up to the sky into your low lunge, making sure the front knee does not pass your ankle. And just allowing the hips to fall forward. Now taking the right arm behind your back, Reach the left fingertips a little bit further to the right side, now getting a little closer into that psoas muscle. And then slowly release the chest down as both hands come at each side of your foot. Pushing all the way back to that left knee, flex the right foot, hips are square. And when you're ready, let's slowly get into our first yin posture. This is your half split posture. 
Now remember, if keeping your hands on the mat is a little too difficult, you can always use props here like blocks or pillows or even books. Just hold. We're holding each posture today for two minutes. So during this two minutes, I want you to really focus on your breathing. Inhaling into your nose and gently exhaling through your mouth. Letting go of all that tension, all that stress or worry. Feel it physically leaving your body as your muscles let go deeper into this posture. Another deep breath in and exhale out. Remember to always think about pulling that right hip back and pushing the left hip forward. That's going to really help you keep those hips square so you get the maximum benefit of this posture. And just stay with your breath. Let go of any other thoughts. With each exhale, become fully present of where you are right now. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. You're almost done, just breathe through it. One more deep breath in and then exhale very slowly. Let's lift the head. Just take a second, bending the front knee, coming back into that low lunge position. And then slowly from here, we're gonna come all the way back now. So what I want you to do is make sure both sit bones are on the ground, your right leg is straight, your left knee's bent. Coming down or staying on the elbows, feeling that stretch in the quadricep. And if you feel like you wanna feel a deeper stretch or you can go even further, See if you can bring the entire back on the mat and then bring the elbows over your head, reaching for the opposite elbow with each hand. Now be very careful that you don't feel any pain in your knee. Any sharp or shooting pain is a sign from your body that this is too much. So if you do feel any discomfort, please come up a little higher or completely avoid this posture and reverse it on your stomach by just simply pulling the heel to your glute. Once you get to your desired pose, again, bring your awareness to your breath. Breathing is the best tool to help you stay present through this practice. As soon as your mind starts to wander and starts to go to different places, bring it back to that inhale and exhale. Reminding yourself that this present moment is all you have. The past is gone and the future has not arrived yet. All you have is this moment right now. So please enjoy it. Breathe through it. Pay attention to any emotions or feelings that may arise through this posture. And if they do, don't hold back. Let it go. Make a choice to release all that negative energy that no longer serves you. Make a choice to bring positive, happy, peaceful energy into your life, into your body, and into your mind. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, allow yourself to sink a little further into the floor. Let it go. Wonderful, good job you guys. Slowly let's come on up to the elbows and then slowly come up to your hands, take your time. And then from here, bending that front knee, transition yourself back into the lunge position. Now just hold it there. Breathe, give yourself a moment to release the quadricep. 
and then step back into your plank. Let's just take a gentle flow, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. This downward facing dog should feel amazing. You can let go of any tension here, any soreness from the last posture. And whenever you're ready, let's take it to the other side. So deep breath in, reach the left leg up, bending the left knee, and then taking a big step between the two hands to the very top of your mat, high lunge. Again, just give yourself a moment here. Find your center, find your balance and then slowly drop the bottom knee and reach both arms up to the sky into your low lunge. Pulling the belly button to your spine so you're engaging the core to help you find your balance. And then take that left arm behind your back and gently reach the right fingertips to the left corner of your mat. And then slowly drop the chest, both hands on the mat, Pushing back to that right knee, squaring off the hips, flexing the front foot, and releasing into our yin posture here, half split. Hold. Now the flexing of the foot helps you get a deeper stretch into the calf muscle. So as you start to advance through this posture, try to add a little more flexion each time. Stay present. Just breathe through it. It's all in your mind. If you allow yourself to let go into this posture, to surrender to this moment, your body will follow. Your mind is stronger than your body. And your mind can control the body in ways that you can't even imagine. So breathe. Surrender, let go. Feel the tension melting out of your left leg. Feel any negative energy that may be stored within that area of your body dissolving into thin air. Inhale into your nose. Exhale, visualizing that energy leaving your body, leaving your mat. Let it go. Again, take a deep breath in, feeling that coolness of the air coming into your nostrils, bringing you positive, peaceful, beautiful energy into every cell of your body. And then exhale, let it go. Beautiful, you guys. Slowly, let's come out. Bring your hips forward. Now, just drop that knee and just walk it slightly to the right side of your mat. And as you push back, you're coming down with both sit bones onto the mat. And then from here, just wiggle into position that's comfortable and then come on down to your elbows. Staying here, or if you're up for it, you can come all the way down. Now again, listen to your body, please. Do not push through any sharp or electric pain in your knee. If this posture is too uncomfortable, reverse it. Go on your belly and just simply pull the right heel to your right glute. And stay there. We want to find a position where you can actually hold the posture. You don't want to be in excruciating pain ever. You may feel discomfort, but that's okay. Just breathe through it. Focus on the inhale and the exhale. Focus on letting go of any tension that you may be feeling in your leg, causing you discomfort, irritation, or even frustration. Bring your awareness to any tight areas in your quadricep, and then breathe into it, visualizing the tension melting away 
letting go as you slowly sink deeper and deeper into the posture. As you breathe, pay attention to your body. Notice how it actually lets go. Little by little, it lets go. Inhale and long exhale out. Very nice, you guys. Let's slowly begin to come out. Extend your arms, come on up to your elbows, and then slowly come up to your hands, bending that extended knee, and then bring your weight forward. So what we wanna do is come back into that lunge and simply extend the back knee. Just feel that stretch. And then from here, come on back into your plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale into your upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Push a little deeper here. Let those heels sink a little further. When you're ready, right leg comes up again, bending that right knee. This time, let's try to stack the hips. So right hip over left hip. Try to get that heel to come as close to your bum as possible, keeping the flexion of the top foot. And then from here, we're going to bring ourselves into pigeon. So your right knee to your right thumb. Hips are square. Make sure the back foot is right in the center of your mat. And just come on over to your elbows. Now don't worry if you can't get the shin parallel to the top of the mat. It is quite a challenging posture, so to begin, keep your heel closer towards the center of your body. And over time, as the glute lets go, you'll be able to move the heel and the foot a little bit further upward. But again, like I always say, please be patient. Just breathe here. The glute muscle is one of those muscles where we hold the most negative energy. Have you ever noticed you've had a stressful day and then you start to feel the tension physically in your body and then over time you start to feel lower back pain or leg pain? A lot of the time it is caused from tight glutes. So as we hold this pigeon, we're targeting that glute area place in your body where a lot of the negative energy can be stored. So as you hold this, what is it that bothers you right now? What is it that brings you negative energy in your life? It can be anything. I want you to become aware of the situation or the person or the circumstance that has caused stress in your life. And as soon as you become aware of that, I want you to take a deep breath in. And when you're ready to exhale, I want you to surrender your body into the mat and let that go. The person, the situation, the circumstance, whatever it is, I want you to let it go with your exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, now let's slowly come out, lifting your body up. And then what you're going to do is slightly turn and swing that back leg around, crossing it over top of the right leg now, and then see how far you can stack the knees. Once the knees are stacked, both hands coming underneath the right knee to prevent hyperextension of the knee. Then all you're going to do is slowly release forward. To add a deeper stretch into the calf muscle, feel free to flex the front foot. Otherwise, just focus on getting that forehead right down to the knee, holding from the hips, and feeling that deep release in the hamstring again. This is one of my favorite hamstring stretches, as you may feel it not only in the hamstring, but all the way down to the heel and all the way up to the sacrum and the lower back. Now just breathe here. 
let go. Allow yourself to surrender to the mat, to this present moment, to where you are right now, because you are exactly where you need to be. Inhale and exhale out. Simply staying focused on the breath, nothing else. If thoughts come into your mind, become aware of them and then let them go. Learning to be the watcher of your thoughts being aware of them, but not letting them affect you or your state of mind. Inhale. Exhale, let's slowly come out. And then simply swinging the back leg around, just make your way over to a plank position. Shoulders over your wrist. And then whenever you're ready, come back into the downward facing dog. Let's go right to the other side, bending the knee, flexing the foot and just stacking the hips over top of each other. So left hip over right hip. And then from here, bringing the knee to your left thumb, your left heel is on the right side of the mat and come on down to your pigeon. You can stay on your elbows or you can come all the way down with your entire body here. Trying your best to keep the hips square. Your back leg should be right in the center of your mat. Breathe. Don't worry if you can't touch the floor with the left hip. You are exactly where you need to be. Don't push it. Just accept it and surrender. And slowly you will feel your body let go deeper and deeper. And over time, you will gain flexibility in your glutes. And you will release that negative energy that's built up in your glutes as well. Again, just being aware of any emotions or feelings that may arise. It's okay to let the emotions go during these postures. Accept it, don't hold it back. Just breathe into your nose, exhale out, visualizing all that negative energy releasing out of your glute, out of your leg. And as you inhale, feel the coolness of the air coming into your body, filling every cell of your body with positive and vibrant energy. Deep breath in and exhale. Very nice. Slowly, let's come up. Shift your weight. You're going to swing that back leg around, bending the knee. And from here, let's stack the knees. Hands coming out underneath the left knee. And then slowly folding forward. Now again, if you like a deeper stretch in the calf muscle, flex the front foot. Feel that stretch coming all the way through the heel, the calf, the hamstring, and all the way up into the lumbar spine. Breathe here and let go. Make a decision to let go of all that no longer serves you. Only you know what that is. Only you can make that choice for yourself. Breathe in and exhale out. Feeling your body 
going a little bit deeper into the posture. And if you start to feel the posture become a little easier, push a little further, always challenging your body, always pushing into the next level. So you're always improving, and becoming a better version of you. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, just bring all of the awareness to the inhale, bringing oxygen into your lungs, into your body, and then exhale. Slowly lift your body, come on up, extending the leg and just swing it all the way around, coming back into that plank position, hold, and let's take a flow here, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog. Just hold for a moment and then slowly drop down to your knees and let's just come back into the child's pose one more time. Keep reaching the arms forward, sinking the hips low to the heels. Notice if this feels much easier for you than in the beginning of the practice. Good, just one more deep breath in. Exhale, let yourself go. Feel the mat underneath you. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Feel the energy of life within you. Inhale into your nose. Exhale gently through your mouth. Feeling completely cleansed and relaxed. You have let the negative energy out of your body. You have done an incredible job today. So as you breathe here, bring beautiful positive thoughts into your mind. Things that you might be grateful for. Things that make you happy and smile every single day. Bringing those thoughts into your mind will attract energy, positive energy into your body and thus attracting more things to be grateful for, to be happy about. Bring gratitude to yourself for taking this time, for doing something good for your mind, for your body, for your health. Thank yourself for having the patience with your body and for having the dedication to live a healthier and happier life. Let's take one more deep breath in and then exhale very slowly. Come on up to your seated position. Finishing off with another deep breath. Palms together and bring them over to your heart. Let's do that one more time, inhale, and then exhale, slowly bringing your hands down, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today on our yin yoga practice. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up or comment below. Lots of love to you guys and I can't wait to see you soon. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and follow us on social media like Facebook and Instagram. Lots of love. See you soon.